If your Wi-Fi and internet connection is slow and sluggish, someone may be stealing your bandwidth. So today I'm going to show you a quick way for you to expose who and what is connecting to your network. If I had to ask you how many devices you have connected to your home network right now, most people will think about their phones, their tablets, laptops, but we tend to forget about smart TVs, Fire Sticks, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, smart speakers, smart plugs, security cameras, and loads of others. On average, we have about 10 to 15 devices connected to our home at any one time. The problem is that these devices consume bandwidth. So when our internet starts to become slow and sluggish, what we want to do is ensure that everything that is connecting to our system should be connected to our Wi-Fi network and that our neighbor isn't um, stealing our Wi-Fi. Now there are several ways to do this. I'm going to show you two, one with an app from your computer and the one with your actual router itself. And yes, it works on Windows and Mac as well. Okay, so let's start with the app. Go to this URL that will be linked in the description. You want to scroll all the way down until you see Download Windows Network Watcher. Click on that. It's a zip file. It saves to your computer. Double click on the exe file and you will see this. Now, there's a lot of information here like the IP address, device name, MAC address, etc. The first detected on and last detected on. The first detected and last detected are super important because it allows you to see when something first joined the network. So if you see something that joined the network today and you didn't add it today, that is a huge red flag. So go through the list. Now, as you're going through the list, you're starting to identify your devices. What happens if there's a device that you simply just don't know what it is? If you see something you don't recognize, double click on it, and then you see network adapter company, right click on that and then click on copy. Next up, what you want to do is open up a web browser and simply paste that information in there. This is going to identify what is that item. What is, okay, this is my smart garage. I now know exactly what that is. So I go back into my little app and then you see where it says user text. Well, instead of having it some code, I type in the garage opener so I know what it is for the future. So you've gone through your list and you've done the little copy and paste trick I've just showed you to identify each and every device on your network. Ultimately, you may have two or three devices that you simply cannot identify and that is common. Manufacturers typically use things like internal model numbers or internal sub company names. So even when you do the search, they're not going to come up. So what do you do next? What you do is remember in the app, we had the IP address in the one column, but the column next to it, it was the MAC address. And a MAC address is what we're interested in because that is a unique identifier for each and every hardware device that connects to our network. So go find the MAC addresses next to each device that you cannot identify and copy and paste them into a little notepad or your Word document because we're going to use those next. Because what we're going to do is go into our router settings and now things are going to get fun. Now at this point, typically people write in the comments, I don't know how to get into my router settings. But firstly, go to your router itself. Look on the device. Sometimes there is a little sticker at the bottom or at the back telling you how to get into your router settings along with the username and password for the admin. You can also do a quick Google search with your make and model of your hardware and it will tell you how to get into the router settings. Here is how I do it. So what you do is you go into your windows and go into the start, type CMD, and then you'll see command prompt. Then you're gonna click on that. When that comes up, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. Type the IP config and press enter. Where you see a whole bunch of information, scroll up until you see this. You're looking for something that looks like this, 192.168.1.1. It will be listed next to the default gateway. Yours IP address could be different. Whatever it is, copy it, open up a web browser and simply paste it in there or type it in there. That should take you to the login screen of your router. Okay, so now that we're in the router settings, why are we here in the first place? because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find a place in our router setting to block those MAC addresses. Now, we don't know what they are. We don't know how much bandwidth we're taking. We don't know why they should be there. Let's go and block them. Now, it's important to remember that this isn't a permanent block. So if you've blocked something by accident, well, you can simply come back in here and just unblock it. 
Okay, so here is my router settings. So remember once again that your router settings are gonna be different. So I can't really tell you exactly where to click, but I can tell you that click around your settings until you find something to do with restrictions. In my case, it's access restrictions. This is some facility and you can Google that for your particular router, which allows devices to be connected onto the network or not be connected. In my case, it's under access restriction, and here I have the ability to give it a description, so I don't know what this device is. I wanna restrict it every single day. I want to disable the wireless, I don't want nothing to be able to connect to it. I wanna be able to block all internet access. And how do I do that? Well, what I'm gonna do is not for all computers, I'm gonna click on that little drop down, and I'm gonna click for the following. And guess what it's gonna ask me? It's gonna ask me for that MAC address. Remember we had that MAC address at the beginning? Make sure you type in the MAC address, not the IP address, because that changes when people connect and reconnect to your network. So make sure you type in your MAC address. And if you, again, if you made a mistake, you can always come back in here and simply delete this particular rule. So it's no harm in experimenting until you get rid of all those devices that you just don't know what they are. Okay, and for you Mac people, I told you there is a Mac application as well, and it's free for a change, which is nice of Apple. There's a link in the description below. Simply fire that up, and I'm told you will do exactly the same. We're looking for the IP addresses, and we're looking for the Mac addresses, and this little utility does that. Now I did say there was another way of doing this, not via the app on Windows or Mac, you can do it via your router settings. If your router setting has something like parental control or access control or IP management control of some type, you can actually enable that, simply find the device that you don't know what it is, click on it and then click on block internet access. And that is a nice simple way on the router to simply control who or what can access your network. Now that you've done that, check out this video over here, which is going to do with faster Wi-Fi, and YouTube thinks you should watch this video. So go and watch both and tell me which one you find more valuable. Let's go.